yesterday. We also know that because Gujarat is headed into elections soon, the Prime Minister has been visiting multiple times. Now, today also he is set to visit Gujarat, I believe to inaugurate multiple events. Can we expect him to visit Morbi? Well, there is no official confirmation uh, from uh, Prime Minister's team uh, so far. Uh, but uh, yes, he has cancelled his uh, road shows and some of his uh, planned events, uh, uh, the events related to party, which were supposed to take place tomorrow. He has planned, the, he has cancelled those events. Now, Prime Minister's team is monitoring, Prime Minister himself and his team has been monitoring the entire situation on ground since yesterday. In fact, uh, the way Indian Air Force and uh, and and, and uh, Indian Navy uh, have Coast Guard have reacted is all because of the intervention of the Prime Minister's office. Also, Prime Minister has given authority uh, uh, to to the officials, and and this entire situation is being handled at the highest level, both at the centre and uh, both at centre and state. So uh, you know all units were pressed in, and in fact. Uh, the state was also coordinating with the center teams like IAF planes, Indian Air Force planes uh, brought uh, one unit of NDRF to uh, 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 to the site. Then uh, Indian Navy was also roped in, the best divers were sent. So all this could happen only because of the intervention of Prime Minister's office. And in fact, yesterday, ex gratia was also announced of 2 lakhs for those who lost their lives and 50,000 for the relatives of the, uh, uh, of the deceased. Uh, uh, for 50,000 for the injured. So uh, uh, so the announcement was also made and in fact Home Minister Amish Shah, the other senior leaders uh, of BJP and Central Minister, they all have uh, tweeted uh, and, and expressed condolences uh, to this uh, to this unfortunate incident that took place in, in Morbi. Now the task is uh, uh, the rescue work the help and relief to those who have suffered uh, uh, suffered uh, uh, pain and in fact uh, those who have lost their near and dear ones but also the investigation because ultimately people want to know the real reason the cause of this uh, collapse and if the private company is responsible so people are demanding cops to bring them to the books they need they need to be punished because uh, locals here are telling me that uh, that they used to pay money to use this bridge 12 rupees for 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 children and uh, and 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 17 rupees for adult so when money is also being taken on the name of repair and maintenance when there is an authority, a private company, which is handling and maintaining this bridge. Then if this incident takes place, then again it all shows the careless attitude, ignorant attitude of, of not just the private company, but in fact the authorities here at the local level. So this bridge is not somewhere in the interiors of Morbi. This is very much in the Morbi town and connects Morbi 1 to Morbi 2. Uh, but despite that, there was a careless attitude definitely that uh, after getting renovated also, the bridge got collapsed. So this is something which Gujarat police is going to investigate. This is something they are going to look into. And in fact, uh, you know, there were several complaints of locals also damaging uh, the bridges. Uh, bridges. Uh, so that that particular also uh, angle will also be investigated. Back to you. Okay, Siddhant, thank you. Uh, we're going to take our audiences into a quick break. On your screens, rescue operations continue as my colleague Siddhant was just telling us they are on their last leg which could mean they last for a few hours it could also mean they last till the end of the day we'll see you in just a few minutes with more on this story incredible and invincible for a staggering 26 weeks India's indisputable number one CNN News 18 on your side as there is an unfortunate piece of information that we are bringing to you from the state of Gujarat we are now being told that the death toll in the Gujarat cable bridge collapse has reached seven Three NDRF teams have been dispatched to Morbi to carry out rescue operations. In fact, Chief Minister of the State Bhupendra Patel has cancelled all his events for tomorrow and has already left for Morbi. Earlier today, Prime Minister Narendra Modi also spoke to the Chief Minister and announced an ex gratia of 2 lakh rupees to the kin of the deceased and 50,000 rupees to those people who are injured in this incident. In fact, the President of India, Draupadi Murmu, Congress MP Rahul Gandhi and other top leaders of the country have also expressed anguish over this incident that is being reported out of Murbi.
अभी तक सात लोगों की मौत हुई है ऐसा आंकड़ा अधिकतर रूप से आया है और जो लोग अस्पताल पहुंचे हैं उनमें से अधिकतर लोग बच गए हैं और उनके ट्रीटमेंट चालू है Let me take this across to my colleague Janak, who's joining us on the broadcast. Janak, we just heard uh, the Chief Minister of the state. Uh, he's thankfully talking about the people who've been rescued, have been taken to the hospital, and they will recover soon. However, what are you picking in from the ground? Kya abhi rescue operations ki sthiti hai? Kitne log nikale ja chuke hai pani mein se? देखिए जो मेरी स्थानीय लोगों से बात हुई और हमारे जो स्थानीय संवाददाता है वो वहाँ पर मौके पर हैं जो बात के डॉक्टर से बात हुई उसके मुताबिक जो ग्राउंड पर डॉक्टर हैं जो नदी पर के लोगों के वाइटल्स चेक कर रहे हैं जैसे उनको पानी से बाहर निकाला जा रहा है डॉक्टर्स ने आधिकारिक तौर पर कहा कि एक से ज्यादा लोगों को नदी से बाहर निकाला गया है उसमें से ज्यादातर लोगों को जो पानी पीने के ड्रॉनिंग का जो मामला था उसके चलते कुछ जगहों पर वाइटल इतने सरकारक नहीं थे ऐसे में ऑक्सीजन की जरूरत थी तो उनको अस्पतालों में रिफर किया गया है तो और उनकी स्थिति बेहद नाजुक बनी हुई है गृह राज्य मंत्री हर सभी को हमने सुना तो सात मौत बता रहे हैं लेकिन आंकड़ा इससे बहुत ज्यादा बढ़ेगा चूंकि ग्राउंड लेवल पर जो जिला अस्पताल से जो जानकारी आ रही है वो जानकारी थोड़ी वो उसके मैं संदेश है वो ठीक नहीं है क्योंकि लोगों की स्थिति बेहद नाजुक बनी हुई है और ये आंकड़ा हो सकता है कि इससे भी ज्यादा लोगों के डेथ कैजुअलिटी पे जाए लेकिन अभी आधिकारिक जो कंफर्मेशन है उसके लिए हम फिलहाल हम इंतजार कर रहे हैं और मुख्यमंत्री खुद और गृह राज्य मंत्री दोनों अभी थोड़ी देर में वहां पर पहुंच रहे हैं राजकोट होकर मोरबी पहुंच रहे हैं और उसके बाद मौके पर ही पूरे ऑपरेशन को देखेंगे लेकिन सबसे बड़ी बात यहाँ पर यह भी देखी होगी कि ये जो रख रखाव यानी मेंटेनेंस का जो मामला था वो मैं कहाँ चूक हुई और पुलिस इस मामले में जो आरोपी है जो खासतौर पर जिनकी जिम्मेवारी बनती है उनके खिलाफ मामला भी दर्ज कर सकती है ऐसी जानकारी भी हमारे पास सामने आ रही है कुल मिला के कहें कि जो कैजुअलिटी का आंकड़ा है वो बहुत ज्यादा बढ़ सकता है लेकिन सरकार फिलहाल अभी सात लोगों की मौत की पुष्टि कर चुकी है लेकिन स्थानीय लोग जो बता रहे हैं उसके मुताबिक आंकड़ा लगभग चालीस से भी ज्यादा मौतों पर जा सकता है ये बात बताइए आप ये कह रहे हैं कि और भी कैजुअलिटीज हो सकती हैं अभी आधिकारिक तौर पर सात लोगों की जानकारी दी गई है कि अनफॉर्चुनेटली उनकी जाने गई हैं लेकिन आप जो नंबर्स बता रहे हैं वो काफी ज्यादा है चालीस लोगों की आप बात कर रहे हैं अभी मौके पे क्या हो रहा है क्योंकि साढ़े से छह बजे की यह घटना है नौ बज रहे हैं ऑलमोस्ट चार घंटे हो गए हैं लोग उतने गहरे पानी में थे उनको निकाले जाने की कवायद अभी तक जारी है तो जाहिर सी बात है कि जितने 400 पर्यटक थे उनमें से कितने लोग पानी में थे उसको असर्टन करना भी बहुत ज्यादा जरूरी है जिस स्तर पे ये रेस्क्यू ऑपरेशन चल रही हैं। बिल्कुल देखिए रेस्क्यू Welcome back. You're watching the morning news here at CNN News 18. We've been tracking over the last few hours rescue efforts as they continue in Morbi. As you can see over here, various teams involved: NDRF and the SDRF, local police officials, along obviously coordinated by the Home Minister, who's present in the space right now. Now, these are some of the visuals we're showing you on your screens. These rescue efforts have been going on since late last night when the bridge. collapsed 132 people have lost their lives so far but rescue operations and you can see this drone over here as part of that rescue operation rescue operations are currently underway to locate whether or not there are any people either still alive or bodies that might still be in the river around in particular the area where the bridge has collapsed we are in the last leg of rescue operations according to officials involved and what that means is that they are currently probing the area around the bridge itself now there are certain plants within the water that have made it a harder effort when it comes to the rescue operations themselves for divers to go down and you can see some of that vegetation towards uh, us right now on your screens right now but when it comes to who is to blame we've spoken to officials that are in the region currently there are SIT probes going on on the matter there's also going to be a police probe that follows the SIT probe on one side you have certain officials pointing fingers at the private company that was in charge of running the bridge they say that the bridge was reopened without the necessary certificates 
On the other side, however, you have many questioning local administration in the area. How was the bridge open for four days without officials checking in about the certificates? Those are some of the questions that are being asked. Uh, let's go over back to my colleague Siddhant. He's with us right now live. He's bringing us updates on this story. Siddhant, tell our audiences more about the bridge itself. I know it was built in the turn of the 20th century. Uh, we also know that it's been not only around for decades, but also its ownership has shifted first from the government to currently it was being contracted out to private contractors. Tell us more about what that process has looked like and what the process of repair work for the bridge had looked like. Well, look, uh, we, uh, are, uh, we are trying to get more clarity on the process that if this bridge was being handled, managed by a private company, then what was the procedure? Uh, was it hap uh, has it happened through any uh, tendering process or was it given uh, out of a goodwill? So uh, all those points, uh, angles are going to, be, uh, going to be a part of SIT's investigation. But right now, rescue work is currently underway, and we'll uh, we'll try to speak to some of the people, uh, those who are present here, and uh, we'll uh, we'll try to get a sense that what is happening here on ground as far as rescue operation is concerned. And uh, in fact, uh, the locals are not being allowed here. Uh, the locals are not being allowed here. Only the officials are present here. The people from the Indian Army they are present here. Uh, and uh, and and uh, and the NDRF and SDRF Javans, they all are present uh, here on the site. So uh, so restricted movement uh, here uh, or from the place where I am reporting from. But uh, uh, but uh, uh, one thing is for sure, the investigation has started. And in fact, teams have been formed uh, to investigate the case against the private company, the staff of the private company, the wing which was handling the uh, repair work of this bridge. And also the SIT teams are here on ground. They are also going to file their separate report in this entire matter to the chief minister's office. So in two, two, uh, two to three days, the picture will be clear that who is responsible for, for the bridge collapse. Uh, I, I'll take this question uh, to the NDRF, uh, uh, NDRF personnel, Prasanna Kumarji. He's right here with me. Sir, I uh, want to know where the rescue operation has reached and how much time has been taken. Because we have also told you that this is the last leg of the rescue operation. So, is this true? And if it is true, is the uh, rescue operation that has been done? Are you satisfied? नहीं अभी तक जो है रेस्क्यू ऑपरेशन सभी फोर्सेस मिलकर के जो किया था तो हम लोग काफी सेटिस्फाइड हैं और अभी जो है आपने देखा है वो जो जो चूला का जो फ्लोर है फ्लोर नीचे गिर गया था तो हम लोग एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे हैं कि वो वो फ्लोर को नीचे कुछ लोग दबने का चांसेस है तो इसलिए कि हम क्रेन का मदद से हमारा डीप डाइवर्स का मदद से उस फ्लोर जो गिरा है उसको निकालने के बाद उस एरिया को हमारा डाइवर्स के साथ सर्च करेंगे तो उसमें अगर मिले गए तो कोई मतलब जो है मिले गए तो उनको निकाल देंगे लास्ट एक एफर्ट यस यस के बिकॉज़ दिस वाटर इज स्टैग्नेंट तो अगर वाटर बहाव ज्यादा होने से काफी दूर तक जाने का चांस है पानी भी नहीं है पानी यहीं पे पानी पानी दिस इज वेरी स्टैग्नेंट वाटर वेरी स्टैग्नेंट सो हमारा जो बोट्स है हमारा टीम से मोर देन सफिशिएंट इस सर्च ऑपरेशन के लिए दो लोगों के मिसिंग की भी खबर आ रही है तो अभी हम लोग जो है ऐसा खबर आ रहा है तो हम लोग सर्च कर रहे हैं और और अब मतलब शाम तक चलेगा रिस्क शाम तक चलेगा शाम तक चलेगा लास्ट तक इन द सेंस कि हमको सभी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सभी को सेटिस्फाई करने के बाद ही हम लोग जो है इसको बंद कल आप लोग कितने बजे यहाँ पे रिपोर्ट तो हम लोग रात में ढाई बजे पहुंचा था बिकॉज हमारा जो टीम से डिप्लॉयड वडोदरा और गांधीनगर में था उससे पहले एस डी आर एफ आ गया एस डी आर एफ पहुंच गया था बिकॉज दे आर नियर बाई एरिया हमारा जो टीम था वडोदरा और गांधीनगर होने की वजह से ढाई किलोमीटर दूर में था नेवी और कोस्ट गार्ड से के आने के बाद ये ऑपरेशन कितना और स्पेशल हो जाता है और कितना और बेटर हो जाता है आपको किस तरह से मदद मिल जाती है नहीं एक्चुअली नेवी के पास जो डीप डाइवर्स था वो हमारा पास भी डीप डाइवर्स था हमारा पास भी डीप डाइविंग सेट्स था बट वो लोग आने से क्या होता है एक एडिशनल एरिया को जल्दी कवर कर जल्दी कवर होता है अच्छा तो जो काम जो काम में दो दिन लग जाते हैं वो अभी एक दिन में मतलब ये है अदरवाइज वी हैव सफिशियंट बोर्ड कितने लोगों की टीम अभी पानी में है तो हमारा जो है पांच टीम्स जो है डिप्लॉयड है पानी के अंदर है एनडीआरएफ और बाकी टीम्स इंडियन आर्मी और मैं पीछे भी देख सकता हूँ कुछ डाइवर्स आए हैं तो इनको क्यों तैयार किया जा रहा है नहीं नहीं इनको भी क्या है एक 
वाइड एरिया को कवर करने के लिए हाँ, हाँ. और जल्दी से जल्दी ये रेस्क्यू ऑपरेशंस करने के लिए अच्छा इनको इसलिए उस मतलब जो है उसको बुलाया था इनको इसलिए बुलाया जा रहा है yes. अच्छा सो दे यू सी आई वाज स्पीकिंग टू कमांडेंट Prasanna Kumar from the NDRF. Now he has given all the details. Estimation of how many uh, people are not accounted for right now when it comes to the rescue efforts. Sir, my anchor Toya has a question for you. Okay. That how many people have been rescued, and uh, how many people are still missing? What is the exact number, and approximately what uh, is the figure that has been shared to you by the local authority? The number of people present on the bridge at the time of collapse. So, as far as uh, local authorities, they have uh, given official number is 135 uh, deaths so far, and uh, regarding this missing. Uh, there is a different uh, versions how many because uh, there is no exact, uh, exact figure yeah, yeah. Uh, because it's a public uh, gathering mm. and no uh, ticket system is there that's why uh, there is no uh, exact number however uh, we are expecting another 3 uh, to 4 members must be there okay okay thank you mr kumar for your service to the nation thank you so much uh, so we were speaking to commandant ndrf he said that uh, they were told that 135 to 140 are the approx number of people on the bridge and uh, they are almost completing the last leg of the rescue operation uh, so uh, multiple teams were deployed so it made uh, work smooth and easier for the ndrf teams also and work could be finished in the in the short span of time because of uh, because of uh, Uh, multiple boats uh, multiple divers in fact behind me also you can see the fresh set of divers uh, uh, have arrived here uh, uh, on the spot so they are also being told to be on the standby so such level of arrangements are being made here on ground and no stone unturned uh, uh, from the authorities from the uh, from ndrf as far as rescue operation is concerned back to you okay sidhan thank you for those details stay with us right now we're going to head into a short break for our audiences on the other side we continue to track the story so we'll see you in just a few minutes